couple things we want to talk about with Tyrese Maxey, though. My boy gave us 50 last night. This is what makes me want to break this down. This is a real 50 ball. Round of applause. That is a real 50 ball, brothers and sisters. A lot of 50 balls, even 40s, you'll see guys have like double digit free throws. So anytime a guy get under 10 free throws or score 10 points or less at the free throw line in his 50 ball, it's, it's just extremely impressive to me. First possession of the game, 0-0. Zero, zero. Key thing, this is a very simple play that's going to happen. You got the screen from Joel B. amazing screen. The screening aspect is extremely important in a lot of this stuff. And... He just opened up a little path for Tyrese Maxey. And Tyrese Maxey and Emmanuel quickly, they both have this thing in a game where they can really, these floaters, these floating shot type of things are really extremely impressive. And I think it helps them out a lot, especially somebody like Maxey and, and quickly. They're not the biggest guards. And they're not the most athletic. But you see somebody like Miles Turner there. And Miles Turner is a good defender, so he's trying to play in between. He's trying to be able to give this a contest. But he also know if he commits too much to contesting this, that Tyrese Maxey has an easy dub down to Joel, Joel Embiid. So essentially, he's trying to guard both of them at the same time. You see this arm right here is ready. It's ready. It's itching and ready to take away any drop-off Maxey could have on his mind. And he just ended up playing back. But at the same time, Tyrese Maxey ain't go too much into Miles Turner because he would have swatted that shit. So it's kind of like a, a push, layup, float, shot. That's kind of unorthodox. And in this position, if he overcommit, you can now throw the lob, still dump it down. But if he not committing how you want, which he ended up not, so he made the good decision, the better decision, you get your shot up. So I actually like this a lot because Miles Turner never had the intention or the intent on jumping to block this. He wanted to bait him into trying to dump this down into Embiid or getting too much into his head to force a miss. And Maxi floated that bitch up and got it. So good shit. Details, man. When we do these breakdowns, I tell y'all details, details, details. Right? So we'll watch this in, in fast, fast motion, real time. Screen, Bruce Brown got to get over. Boom, lay it up. Watch Maxi right here. Watch him. Watch what he does. Slap and beat on the ass. Details like that is important to me. That's letting them know. Big fella, I recognize it. I'm acknowledging that you set an amazing screen for me and opened it up for me to get that LA. Thank you, big fella. Those are the little things that just go a million miles beyond. It's deeper than scoring and getting stopped. It's, it's communication is not just saying, hey, help me. Uh, go over. I'm going under. That's simple, basic communication. Real communication for real basketball people and real basketball players know all of those type of things mean so much. That's why when somebody gives you an assist, hits you with a good pass, you see the guys point up. You point to your teammate, hey, good pass. You know what I'm saying? They run back down the court after after scoring. High five. Let's go, man. All of that shit just takes this shit up a different level. It takes it up a different level. So when I see shit like that, I like that personally. If I'm ever a coach, those will be the type of things that I'm telling my, my team. You know what I'm saying? Like We're communicating, obviously, throughout the course of the game at a, at a surface level way but those are the other things you know what i'm saying giving your teammate a high five telling your teammate good shit good screen the little things that you know what i'm saying encourage a player to do the little things and, and to do their job even better any person in the in the history of mankind encouragement is like needed nobody is against encouragement i don't give a fuck what they're telling you everybody loves to hear a compliment or some words of encouragement or some reassuring words hey good job i i appreciated that from uh tyrese maxi right there a little slap on the butt nothing nothing crazy just set a good screen good shit come on we rolling big fella we up too we rolling big fella this is when you this is when you kind of get the feeling it's gonna be a long night i ain't gonna say 50 but bruce brown should have known right here okay it's going to be a long night. Very simple. He attached to the screen like like it's 2K. He got sucked up to the screen, magnetized to the screen, and Maxi is just reading this. This is one of my favorite things about a guy like Tyrese Maxi. It's all simple. It's all simple. It's just basketball, basic basketball. My favorite players are players that don't have 40-inch verticals. They don't have NFL speed. They don't have unhuman characteristics. Maxi is a skilled basketball player. At what, like 6'2", but he ain't jumping out the gym. He's fast, but he's not like, oh my gosh, uncanny fast. Like, this is world-breaking speed, you know what I'm saying? And it's just, like, 
It's just simple. You made the wrong read. I'm pulling up. Fuck is wrong with you? I don't have to do anything crazy. Like, we just hooping. This is just just hooping. This is what basketball should always be. It should just be hooping. Boom. Another screen. That time it came off as a miss. That's that push layup shot shit. He made the first one. This one came off as a miss. I didn't even realize Miles Turner wearing the old Kobe's. Come off. Go there. Miles Turner, this is mental notes. As a guard, a lead guard, a point guard, Maxi should be making mental notes. This is now the second time with Miles Turner. He is not really going after this basketball, which I make a mental note of that. Okay. He don't want Joel and B to get going. He's stunting. He's showing. He's trying to make me overthink so I can fuck up and think he's going for the basketball. But his priority is to not let B get these easy dump down dunks. He's trying to limit that as much as possible. So he's showing and he's doing his thing. But he, again, is not really going for that. His mind is making sure Joel Embiid is not getting the easy one. So I'm, I'm, I'm letting that be known in my mind. I'm, that's, just, that's just a mental note that I would have. Love this look. It don't go in. But you love this. Play with some pace. Go up the court, catch and shoot. That's that's where he's elite. And also, I'm also making a mental note of this. I was all over their scouting report. If I'm Tyrese Maxey, I'm saying I, I I can tell. Y'all talked about me a lot and in, in, in walk through. He catches the ball. Everybody. Two guys went out. So Maxey, you can move this. This can turn into this. This can turn into that. They're paying attention to you shooting. They're willing to let DeAnthony Melton. Have a vroom, him a vroom, and two guys are saying, nope, we got to close out. Head fake, pump fake, dump down, pass out of the shot, whatever you want to do, you would have had two easy points. Don't matter. They won the game. It's not that big of a fucking deal. It's just mental notes that you make along the course of a basketball game. Little by little, little by little, so because it's all manipulation. So it's like, okay, if y'all coming to me like that, I'm gonna ma- I'm gonna start making y'all pay. Miles Turner, you're staying on Joel and B that much. I'm gonna start making you pay, and he had fifty. Aaron Neesmith, Jalen Smith, where were y'all in a walkthrough? Where were y'all in a walkthrough? What are you doing? Both of y'all in a position you cannot be in against these two guys. Do do, do y'all know who y'all are playing? <laughs> Like, this ain't Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid. This is Tyrese Maxey and Joel Embiid. There, there is no way. If Aaron Neesmith just doesn't have the angle, that's fine. It's human. He, he can't. Joel Embiid, again, is a huge man. Look at look at him. It's going to be hard to get around his screen in either direction, which is fine. Jalen Smith, you have to get up, though, bro. You have to get up here. Even in drop coverage, you abandon drop coverage when the guy can't get through. You're not committing to drop coverage so much that you just let Tyrese Maxey have practice shots. That's 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 target practice. And then we see y'all are ranked really low defensively. Y'all one of the worst defensive ratings in the league. And I think y'all give up one of the most points in the league. This is why there's no communication. I didn't see Aaron E. Smith points. They get out. I didn't. It don't look like nobody's talking, saying switch or anything. It's just. Nobody's on the same page. Easy walk up three. Like that, it don't get no easier than that. A lot of people gonna have fifty against y'all if this is how y'all playing defense. A lot of people gonna have fifty. That drip, you gotta be prepared for that handoff between him and Embiid. And if you overcommit, Embiid gonna fake it and turn in and have a free lane to the rim. So communication is gonna be key against the Philadelphia 76ers all year long. Love this. Let me know if I'm wrong. I don't know if I got Philadelphia 76 fans in here. It felt like Tyrese Maxey get one of these a game. This little rip through James Harden-esque. James Harden-esque thing that put the ball extremely low. Uh, James Harden does as well. DeMar DeRozan does as well. They come down and they put the ball extremely low. Look how low he puts that ball. And then he goes up, rip through, which is the foul. There's the foul. And he has mastered how to continue into a, a layer of floater, which, again, I've seen him do this like once a game. He's like mastered this. This is not like an accidental thing. Put that ball extremely low. Grip up. That's a foul. Can't do that, OB Toppin. And he keeps the 
awareness to continue to play through. And what I don't like about it is when I start coaching, my centers are going to have a very simple instruction or any of my players. One thing that really grinds my gears or is like a big a big thing for me in the NBA is people do soft fouls. You either fully commit to the foul, hard foul. We're not playing no dirty basketball. We don't want to hurt nobody. But you foul. Make your foul worth it. But to foul and then just give up an and one, I never understand that. I never understand when like a guy's behind them and they like push the guy in front of them while he's laying it up. That's silly. That didn't that it that's not stopping him from making the the free throw. I mean to make the and one. Why do that foul? I never understand that. Somebody's in front about the dunking and the dude hit him. Just slap him on his back. Like, ugh. And the dude just dunk and one. <laughs> What the fuck was that? Why why do that? Just let him have a dunk. He already fouled him. So you didn't even contest that. I, don't, I just don't even know what the fuck that is. I don't even know what the fuck that is. But he ain't getting no shot off if he already got fouled. If he already got fouled, we we, we ain't going to hurt him. But he damn sure ain't getting no and one. <clears throat> Jalen Smith, I, he's had a wonderful year. I'm loving Jalen Smith this year with the Pacers. Jalen Smith was a, a a much more aggressive shot blocker in college. Drop coverage. Go and commit. Block that. That was kind of, I don't know. He kind of just like took his time getting there. Maxie is fast, bro. Fully commit. This ain't Joel and B. This is Paul Reed. Once he, tur- once he turns that corner, I'm fully going. <clears throat> right there, he should be trying to get here. He's still playing like... Nah, fuck that. It's too late now. Threes and layups so far for Maxi. Threes and layups. It's the best shot you can ask for. It's the best shot you can ask for as a basketball player. It's no, there's no better shot than this, man. And my, and my pure, honest opinion, as somebody who's played a lot of basketball, I've never played at the level of Tyrese Maxi. I didn't go to Kentucky. I wasn't a first round pick. I never played in the league. But whether I'm at the park in my early years, whether it was in a real game at school, high school, middle school, as a kid, uh, if I go to the gym now, you bring the ball up, hit, you know what I'm saying? And you're able to walk and step comfortably right into a three like this with no resistance. There's no resistance at all. That's just the best feeling in the world, man. You just com- because you're just comfortable. Nobody's making you uncomfortable. You just move, stop, pop. That contest is late. You don't even really feel that contest. You never really felt your defender. Nimhard never touched him and let him know I'm here. Poor communication again by the Pacers. Benedict Matherin tried. Benedict Matherin is trying to communicate. He said, I'm taking Paul Reed. He's telling Jalen Smith, fuck that. You behind, so just go with Daniel House. Let's just match up. The screen is coming. He's telling him again, Jalen Smith, you got to go up. You gave up this shot already. You already gave up this shot a few plays ago when Aaron Neesmith was over here in this wing. He's telling him, go up. And I have no idea what Jalen Smith is doing, man. I have no idea. What is he doing right here? There's nobody behind him. This Paul Reed is not a threat from right here. This is Daniel House. He's not a threat from right here. What the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? I just don't know what what you're doing. He literally didn't jump out until he literally was shooting the basketball. The ball is already. I can't. Where's the basketball? Look how much the bas the basketball is already out. Your contest. Look how late the contest is. You didn't affect. You affected nothing. Just real slow, so you can see it in real time. He's telling them to go. Look, look, look at when Benedict Mathurin starts saying go. He's telling him go at the logo, right? He's telling him go at the logo. Once he tells him go, he should start to go. He does not. Look at Maxi. He's stepping right into this shot, and he still. <laughs> it looked like Jalen Smith took a step back. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. It looked like he got further from him. I don't know what the fuck just happened. His body, everything in this man's body is said, I'm shooting. He's loading up. He about to put the ball into the other hand. And Jalen Smith is just standing. He's controlling that. That's a great comment. 
He's just standing, not one step towards the man. Like I don't know if he if he didn't read his scouting report, if he don't watch basketball and know who his <laughs> opponents are. But look, the ball is now he's, he can't dribble anymore. The only thing you can do is go up now. He's just like, nah, I'm cool. Tyrese Maxey is getting into his shooting motion, and he still has not. He's just now moving. He's just now saying, oh, look, look how slow he is. Oh, shit, he's finna shoot it. Yeah. <laughs> he couldn't do anything else once the ball gets in both hands. I'm going to let it play one more time from real timing. Just shit like this is just weird to me. And then he, and then that was, that was I, and I, I like Jalen Smith. I've been giving Jalen Smith a lot of flowers this year. As a coach, as a teammate, whatever you want, like anything, that pisses me off. Watch his reaction. Look at his hands. Open hands. Jalen Smith. I mean, you're the only person on the basketball court for the Pacers that can't be doing this. What are you doing this? Benedict Mathern told you twice where you were to go. He told you twice. 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 He said, boom. And then he said, boom, get up. And you didn't. And now you're turning around and looking. Look at his direction. He's looking this way at the bench. This is the direction of the Pacers bench and Rick Carlisle. And he's doing this as he's turning around to look at the bench. There ain't no turnaround, bro. And then look at look at Benedict Matherin. He's like, what are you doing? I don't know if y'all just saw it. It's very quick. You got to watch Benedict Matherin. Details. The ball goes in. Look at Benedict Matherin. He's the one that's like, what are you doing? And then he... He's going to point like I told you to go up. I don't know. Really don't. It don't surprise you why defense is ranked so bad. And now that before you know it, he got a rhythm. Credit to Benedict Mather, man. He's trying to get down in his stance. He's taking on. Look, he get he dropped down. He takes a step up. What's up? I'm here. How you feeling? Show me some. And Maxi already got his rhythm. He already hot. He he checking now. Tween side step. This is a this is a hop side hop step back because he's hopping to the side, but he's stepping back at the same time. Yeah, this is this is a tween step back off the inside foot. To the outside foot. Load it up. Good contest. See his contest? The difference between Benedict Mathurin and Jalen Smith? Benedict Mathurin is right there and the ball has not left his hands yet. He's just going to make an extremely tough shot because he's already hot. He's already going. But that's a good contest from Benedict Mathurin. I'm not mad at that. He stepped up into his space. And that's basketball. A lot of young players, a lot of young kids, they do moves. They don't know why they do it. You you step back because Benedict Mathurin stepped up. He stepped into your space, so you have to recreate space. Because pro shooters, elite shooters like Maxi, you only need this much room. So he's crowded. He, he stepped up, so you're going to have to step back again. That makes sense. You see a lot of players step back, and there's no need to step back. You see a lot of players do shit without needing to do it because they don't know why they're doing it. And when to do it. They just know that they have this move in their bag. A part of having a bag is knowing when to use it and when not to use it. You don't have to. If you don't have to absorb or use energy in stepping back to create a harder shot, why do that? But I'll, you go see kids all the time and they just doing shit to be doing it. They Euro stepping into help. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> When the Euro step, I, I know a lot of y'all young. When the Euro step first came out, I was like, not first came out, but like really hit home or became super popular. I go hoop all the different places. I was young. I was a teenager. People doing Euro steps just to be doing, just to be doing it. Euro stepping into the help. Euro stepping in the wrong way. Euro step, and then they don't even know what, what, how to, which way to finish or how to, just doing shit. And you see that now with kids doing step backs, S step back, side steps, all type of shit, doing it unnecessary. This is necessary. Step up into your space. Okay, so now when I want my shot, I know I gotta step back because he took some of my space away. I take my space back. Boom in your face. Rhythm hot flowing. We cooking. And look at him. He had, yeah, what? Tough game for Jalen Smith so far.
Get that up quick. Goaltender. That was a very fast layup. I love this shot. This this is a tough shot. That looks way easier than it is. This is why Tyrese Maxey has the value. He can do it with the basketball. We just seen two plays ago, him doing a step back at the Wells Fargo Center logo in the face of Benedict Mathern, a bigger, taller defender. And on his very next play, he's doing it without the basketball, which is probably one of the most valuable assets you can have in your game as an up-and-coming or even as a solidified star. Playing without the basketball means you can play with anybody. He just played and coexisted with James Harden last year. Now James Harden is gone, and he has the ball a lot more. It's still working. That's value. Warren. Plant the inside foot. Two. Turn. Square. Rise. That's high. He high on that jump shot. Falling away. Swish. That is a tough shot, man. Man, that's a tough shot. That's beautiful. It's beautiful basketball. Beautiful shot making. Beautiful everything. This right here opens up so much for Philadelphia. And I love the fact that they're doing it with everybody. They can do it with Tobias. I've seen them do it with Embiid, obviously. They're about to do it with Paul Reed. You can do this shit with Covington, Batum, Maxi trying to work. Ain't shit there. Little flare back screen. Throw it to him. Toss back to Maxi. And now when, when you when you do the get, this is just a form of give and go and a toss back. You give it to him. He can come back and get it. And now he's able to turn the corner with a head full of steam. It's hard. It's easier to generate that 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 steam and that momentum and that acceleration without the basketball. So now you go from. Okay. Okay. Ain't shit here. Boom. Now I'm going down already. And now I'm able to just go and beat Miles Turner. Because without this acceleration and without the speed, Miles Turner sends this into the, the stance. But he can't keep up with the speed of Maxi. Boom. Nope. Too late. Love that. Love that. You see that a lot in the NBA. Love that, though. Same shit. Come back, get around. Mm. He tried to do that to his ass. He tried it. Same shit, though. This is just simple. Quick, dump in. Let me get that back. He could keep going, turning the corner. Now he had the help, and he could dump it down in B, and B can pop. There's just so many different things you can do with that. With that little simple play, Jokic and Jamal Murray have shown us you can you can create a whole little whole little you dig out of that. These you know he won't back. Having fifty, he like shit. I could have had sixty with some of these misses. He missed a layup. This is a wide open three. This is a good play call. And let's look at the full play of this. I'm interested. The Anthony Melton dumps it down to Embiid. Okay. What is going on over here? Okay. Tyrese Maxey is setting the back screen for Tobias Harris while this entry goes in. Then Melton sets the screen for Maxey. I like it. Nothing crazy, nothing super intricate, just just making shit move. He check a shot. This is a shot of a guy who's going to score 50. But this is a, this is a this is one you throw back to the big fella. You've been such a threat, you've been carving him out so much that now Miles Turner is starting to pay a little bit more attention to you than this guy. And this guy had 37 as well. And B had 37 as well. I don't know what he has at this part of the game, but you're Tyrese Maxey is carving them up so much that now he's getting a little extra attention. This is a dump back. You throw this back, and he can he can step right into a shot. Miles Turner nowhere near him. But I get it. He checked. You've been making those shots. You made one earlier. That's yeah. He had a couple. He had a couple of those misses where I know he's like, damn. That's another one. That's a that's like three misses now. 
Two of them are threes. One was a last eight points he left on the board. That's about, yeah, you can could have had 60. Great players. Somebody like Tyrese Maxey, he watching this film like, I could have had 60. That's that's the mindset of a great player. There's no such thing as the perfect game. There's always something you can improve on. These right here, these are the ones I know he wish he could have back. Wide open. Wide open. Wide open. Mm. Give me that shit. He had three blocks too. 50 points, seven assists, three blocks. I think he had five rebounds. <laughs> he was out there just like, what can I do? And I love this aspect of his game. His finishing is super underrated, man. S super, super, super underrated. Going full speed. Tyrese Halliburton playing on his on his back, uh, back pedaling. That's the toughest position to be in in any sports, having to play defense on, on while backpedaling. Cornerbacks, a guy guarding somebody fast in transition. Somebody backpedaling should not be able to keep up with somebody running straight forward at them. That's just the toughest position to be in in any sport. Having somebody, yeah, you backpedaling, trying to keep up, and then he's coming down at you. Over the body. Ugh, beautiful. Hey. We about 20 games and this is not being a foul. He got one earlier. This is a foul as well. Obi Toppin ain't learn. Oh, uh, that one Obi Toppin hand. Who hand was that? Oh. Ain't nobody hand. I'm looking at Tyrese Maxey hand. This hand right here, I'm, I saw. That's Maxey's hand before it goes to the ball. So, yeah. Obi Toppin ain't stick his hand in a cookie jar. He learned this lesson in the first quarter. Good shit, Obi Toppin. That's why I wasn't a foul. But see, this is the same thing he did in that first half when he was at the other side of the floor. Put the ball low, anticipating that Obi Toppin going to stick his hand in there. He swiped up, and he's going through to get the hand one, but they didn't call the foul. So, boom, it's just a tough look. Tyree, I'm telling you, Tyrese Maxey is intentional with that shit that he, do, that he doing with that. Swiping up, boom, and get the foul. Cool. It's good defense. I thought I thought Obi Toppin stuck his hand in there again. Beautiful. Another good finish. Good way to not settle. <laughs> Attack the gaps too fast. Incredible. One of these, I think he could have had another pass. This is just great play calling. Coming off the Iverson screen, most of the time, this Iverson screen, they're trying to get this person a ball as they come off of here. They went to Tobias, and then he continues to cut, which is great, great pass. That's great because Jalen Smith is hugged up on Daniel House as if Daniel House is fucking J.J. Reddick. Right now, if I'm Jalen Smith, I would step back. All fails, Nimhard takes him, but I would just step back off of my man. And you late. You late, Jalen Smith. He once he once he realized what was going on, he was too late. You're gonna see Jalen Smith be look like oh, he's looking, and then look, he's like oh, it's too late, man. It's too late. Toss back going downhill. Tough miss. Another miss layup. These are the points he left on the board. Tough night, man. Jalen Smith played a lot higher, a lot closer. Goal ten and hit the backboard. Once they hit the backboard, you can't touch that ball. Toss back. They did it with Patrick Bev, man. They did it with Patrick Bev. Toss it back. Uh. Man, that's oh, that was a ah. Uh, I know that's one you want back. It's another. Some more points left. He got about fourteen points left on the board. Oh man. Oh man.
stop his momentum, snatch back. Full speed. Then to stop on a dime, snatch it back. Hop. Step back, hopping off of the inside right foot. All that separation. Beautiful. Let's watch that in real time one more time. Calm. Explode. Snatch. Step back. <laughs> Money. That is a that is a that look at that. Yeah, that's like oh shit, our teammate just got fucked up. Look. <laughs> oh shit. They man, that's a bad that's a bad man move, man. Calm. Explode. Snatch. Step back. Mm, mm, mm. He said, Oh my god, yeah. You cooking, boy. You cooking. Oh, I thought that was going in. I was going, man, I was watching this in real time. I'm like, oh, yeah, that boy cooking. That boy cooking. And he get the air ball go up. Everything was going right for him. Right place, right time, man. I love this. All game, he used the screen. This is the first time I've seen him reject it. They guarding it a little better. Bruce Bryan anticipating it a little better to not get screened so easily. Miles Turner is a lot more attached. And now he used it. And that's the that's one of the first times we've seen Miles Turner really chase the lay and not be so concerned with playing and beat in the layup. Too fast. Could even be an one potentially. Boom. I mean, what what do I even say? And B gotta love this about MB. And B is trying to get Maxi the ball. He understands what's going on. Let me get Maxi this ball. Let's get Maxie his 50. Get the screen. Buddy Hill got through good, playing on his hip. Step back. Nasty. Step back going left. Woo! -wee! And that, folks, that's how you get 50 points in the game.